What's going on? Welcome to another Beyond Plug and Play video. I am your host, Logic Motion, and today we have two topics. One being on Apex ALGS, the NA Finals, cheaters injecting cheats into the finals. The second topic being on Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection. Apparently, the company has stolen mods. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the first topic. This is absolutely insane. So over the weekend, March 17th, there was a Apex Legends Global Series NA Finals, right? So this is where the best of the best are playing, all the crazy top players in one match. So the hackers were able to inject code into each and every one of these players' game. It was absolutely insane. So the hacker was giving people aim bots, making it to where they could wall hack and see through the walls, see everything. It was insane. They were able to inject these cheats and two players game. What does that mean? That's crazy. So Apex Legends Esports Twitter account actually made a response to all this. So due to the competitive integrity of this series being compromised, we have made the decision to postpone the NA Finals at this time. We will share more information soon. This is crazy. I've never seen something like this where the hackers will inject code while the game is going on. There's actually a couple of videos of some players responding and what they do. Let's show them off here. I'm getting hacked, I'm getting hacked. But I know, I know, it's sure. Can you play the game? Bro, I, I'm getting hacked. I know, but can you play, can you play? It? Yeah, but it, I'm, it's cheating. The fuck? I know, I know, it's sure. I know, I know, I know. And what? Like what? No, but is what? it fucking up your game? Yes, I can see everyone, like I'm. You need to leave, you need to leave, you need to leave. I, I, I need to leave the game, right? Yeah, yeah I'm game. leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Bro, like, what the? Bro, admins down. Nick, admins is down. Nick, admins is down. Admins I, down. I left. Admins I left. Down. Like, admins down. <laughs> Restart your game. Rejoin. Oh no, you left the match. Did you close your game? Leave the match. I left. Jen, I had to leave. Did you leave the match? I have to. Yes, yeah, I have to. Yes, I have to. I have to leave. I left. Like, bro. It's fine. We win this. Come on. Come on, you got that, boys. Come on. Alt forward and see if it's fixed, bro. We need kills. We need kills. Okay, wait, no, I'm back. I'm cheating. No, I'm... I, I can't shoot. I can't shoot. I literally cannot shoot. I can't shoot. I cannot shoot. I'm dead from over here, Jordan. Get inside. Get inside. I don't have a smoke. So you can see in that video that Gin Bergen gets hacked. They're able to push hacks to his game. Wall hacks. Uh, aim bots are able to push that to his game, to his computer. And it's just insane. I've never seen anything like this before. They're also pushing it to other players as well and just completely compromises the whole Apex Legends global series. And this is the finals too. This isn't like some preliminary game. Uh, this is the finals. This is it. So it's just crazy that they were able to do this. And you just got to think if they're able to push this to a big event like this, they're probably able to push this to normal players as well just like normal whatever people that aren't pros they could probably push stuff to your game too. push these aim bots push these hacks but what else can they push could they do like viruses could they do like trojans or anything something to compromise the information on your computer like it's a scary time to play apex uh, i wouldn't even want to boot the game up at this moment but uh they definitely got to do something about this respawn ea there's got to be something done um obviously you can't a hundred percent get rid of all cheaters and all hackers, but you have to do something after this. This is crazy. I, I believe even one of the players got banned in real time during this event, but obviously it's not a real ban because it's not like he, he himself was actually cheating. It was more so these hacks, these cheats being pushed down to them from whoever. So I wouldn't want to touch Apex at this moment. I would wait till EA, I would wait till Respawn, either one of them make a statement on something being done or something being worked on because right now it's a really scary to play this game all right let's get to our next topic star wars battlefront classic collection use modders work without credit all right so basically aspire they have made a new star wars uh, battlefront classic collection it has one from uh, 2004 and battlefront 2 from 2005 but what they did was they took a mod and they put it into the classic collection without crediting the original uh, modder. The original modder being I am Shaman. I am Shaman. I I'm so sorry. 
Um, I am Shaman. Basically, he, he calls him out, too. He's on Twitter. He's saying upcoming release of Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection does not include any code or content that is taking from uncredited sources. He quotes that he's he's quoting them because they said that because in the trailer they had their mod in the trailer. So he quotes that and then he says, I am not in the credits and he tags Aspire Media, which is crazy, crazy work. Crazy. I mean, he deserves it, but it's crazy work. He tagged him. OK. I'm going to try to say this properly, but this mod is from the PS2. And basically what it does, it takes uh, Ayla Sakura and it turns her into Ventress. But it's more of like a reskin. It's not a new character. It's more of just like a reskin. So it takes Ayla, turns her into Ventress, right? So instead of actually porting over the Xbox and PC versions, that's why in this little video clip, that's why she has Ayla's moves because it's not actually a new model. It's just a reskin of Secure. It seems like if you update the game though, it patches the mod out. So I don't know what they were doing. I don't know what they were thinking, but it's, it's really just not a good look. I was going to make a video on the Star Wars Battlefront Classic Collection because I truthfully believe it's not as bad as everyone's saying, but when you when you're stealing modders work and not giving them credit for it, it looks really bad. The optics are really bad. So I just canned the whole video idea. I still think it's decent, but to not give the modder credit, um, Shaman, um, it's, it's deplorable. Uh, I don't, I don't like that at all, but yeah, that's all the news I got for today. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, please give it a thumbs down. What do you think about cheaters injecting cheats into players? Apex legends game. What the heck? And what do you think about aspire stealing mods and not giving credit to modders? Please let me know down in the comments below and I'll see you next time. This has been logic motion and I'll see you. I'll see you twice. Yeah, that's right. I'm saying it twice. See ya third time. Yeah. All right. Catch you later, guys.